Divine Truth Frequently Asked Questions Jesus, Mary and others provide answers to questions that are frequently asked by members of the media and the public. So, could you please contrast society's view on family compared to God's view of the family? Mm. Well, I, I feel a lot of our other questions already have addressed a lot of these issues, but let's sort of put it in some kind of summary. The average family's view of the family is that the parents own the children. That the children are the parents' responsibility to do with as they wish, as they see fit. That's the average viewpoint of the family on this planet. Most parents believe that the children belong to them. And in fact, we use the terminology. They are my children, my sons, my daughters. They belong to me. Most parents believe on this planet that because their children belong to them and they've brought them into the world, as the saying goes, that they have the right to dictate what the child does. They have the right to violently inflict punishment upon the child if the child does not do what the parent demands. Now, all of these concepts of parenting are completely false from God's perspective. God feels completely the opposite to this. And in fact, if you look at God's own example with how he deals with us, you can see that God is completely opposite to that. God never forces mm. our will. God never punishes us for not doing what God wants. Never. God still loves us whenever we do what, whatever we do. God continues to give us love, even if we're totally blocked to receiving it. God wants to give love to us. Right? So, so this is completely different than the average parent. The average parent in society withdraws their love whenever the child doesn't do what they want. And in fact, the average parent becomes violent in, in their expressions towards the child, either physically or emotionally, when the child doesn't do what the parent wants. God never does such things. God's a far more loving individual than the most loving parent. And, and this is where we need to see the contrast between society's definition of love in the family and God's definition of love in his family. So we're all part of God's family and God's definition of love in God's family is very, very different to society's definition of what love would be in the family. And it's very different in so many areas. You know, if we were going to list every area, we'd probably take days having this conversation because there are so many areas in which God's definition of love is completely different to the family's definition of love. And it's imperative that families on this planet change their definitions of love into God's definition because if they don't, Damage is done to the children of the next generation and the next generation and so forth and nothing will change on the earth while the family continues to have retain its current ideas mm. about love. It is the underlying ideas that the family has about love that are imposed upon society. This whole concept that we are not one family. You are my brother. You and I have the same parent, right? You're my brother we have the same parent, God. That makes us brothers, literally brothers. Our souls are brothers to each other. Mm. If, if I then see you as not being a member of my family, I am completely out of harmony with that concept. You are a member of my family. It's just as important for me to treat you well as it is to treat my sons, if I can use yep. that term, well. Yep. My sons do not deserve better treatment or worse treatment than you, because you are my brother just as they are my brothers. And it's imperative that we have this viewpoint of the world, because without it, we have national strife, we have cultural strife, we have tribal strife, we have family feuds, and all of those things are the result mm. of us viewing our family as more important to us than other people. So you are my family. Yep. Yeah? I am yours. There's no reason why you should treat me any different than you treat your own sons or your own partner when it comes yeah. to love, right? When it comes to the expression 
of consideration and kindness and compassion and other emotions, I should be treated no differently. When it comes to your money, I should be treated no differently. When it comes to you know, how you treat your life, it should be no different than if I was... And how you treat my life should be no different than if you had your sons in trouble. If I was in trouble, I would respond... You would respond the same way as if your sons were in trouble or as yeah. if your partner was in trouble, if you viewed me as your brother. Yeah. All right? The reality is on this planet, society does not view other people that are not members of their family as their brothers. And they have a very distorted viewpoint of what the family is. And as a result of these particular things, we have huge amounts of problems on the planet generally. If we change what, how we see the family, if everyone on the planet changed how they saw the family, we would instantly have peace on the, in the entire world. There would be no trouble. If everybody on the planet saw each person on the planet as their brother or sister, there would instantly, all, all crime would disappear. Yeah. They really yeah. felt that connection. Yep. Yeah. Mm. So following on from that, how are these beliefs that we have hindering our relationship with God? Well, obviously our viewpoint of the family is very, very different to God's viewpoint of the family. So that being the case, that means that our view of the family is in injury-based, it's error-based. And while we retain it, every time we retain an error, we will choose to act out of harmony with the laws of God, which always will incur pain and suffering as a consequence. Yeah. So, so because of this one problem that we refuse to accept God's definition of God's family... And instead, we impose our own definition of the family. Because of this one problem, we are creating huge amounts of problems on this planet. Like problems with war and all this national strife and all those things, violence and all these different things are all caused, if you analyse them back down, to this problem of yeah. our definition of how the, what, the fam what ma is maintained by a family and what a family should do and what a family should put up with yeah. and how a family should be treated. And if we had God's view on the matter, we would never, ever take the actions that we, we currently take as humanity. Yeah. So it's essential. It's essential that our viewpoint of the family changes. Mm. Yeah.